Hey, what is up guys? My name is Josiah and welcome back to another edition of my Suburban House tutorial series. Now the house that will be building today is quite unique as it sits upon a large and tall stone foundation, giving it plenty of height for a 3-4 design and a spacious above ground basement and garage area. Not only that, but the house has a bright and colorful black palette as well as cool features like its raised porch and entranceway that makes it an awesome looking design. So without any further ado, let's get right into building it. Now first up we lay out the foundation of the house, so let's start by placing in a 21 by 10 long ring of stone blocks that is 4 blocks tall. Then on the inside of this area we'll add a couple more walls. So starting from the left side let's add in a wall of the 5th block over that extends across the front and back. And then also from the right side let's add in one of these walls at the 7th block over. So now with all the walls in place, let's next replace the floor on the inside here with grey concrete. Then once the floor is in, we can now cover over this area at the top layer with more stone blocks. Next we'll add a staircase at the front left side of this foundation. So starting a block over from this left corner, let's place in a 3 wide staircase of quartz stairs that goes up 4 rows by removing any of the stone in the way. And then to finish this up, let's remove part of the wall at the left side of this staircase like I do here so it gradually slopes up with the stairs. Next up, we'll add the second floor on top of the foundation. So starting a block in from this top right corner of the staircase, let's place in a 16 by 6 long ring of light blue concrete.
Then we'll make a slight adjustment to the shape of this concrete ring. So starting from this front right corner, go over a block to the left and remove the next three blocks after that. And with these blocks removed, let's then extend blocks out from the sides of this gap to the end of the stone foundation and connect them together along the front edge of it. So now that we have the shape of this light blue concrete laid out, let's then build this up another three blocks so the walls of this area are four blocks tall in total. And then with all these walls in place, we can now cover up this area across the top layer with more light blue concrete. Next up, we'll add an overhang for the front porch. So all we need to do is cover over the stone section here with light blue concrete from the top layer of these walls. Now that we have the overhang in place, we will next get ready to add in the roof by placing in some sloped walls on top of this area. So starting at the left side, let's add in a sloped wall that goes up a block each time from the corners until we have two rows at the center that are four blocks tall. So once we have this wall in place, let's now go over to the front right corner of this area and add in another identical sloped wall from here. And then we can add the last sloped wall at the back right corner of this area the same way we added the first two. Next up we will add in the roof to the house, so we can start that by adding stone brick stairs on top of all the sloped walls that we made. Then once we have the stairs on top of the sloped walls, we can now connect these stairs together between each section. So let's start by placing the first row of stone brick stairs on the top edge of the concrete walls, and then every row up after that, we can do the same until the roof closes at the top.
Next up, with the roof in place, we will now add a quartz trim to it. So at the sloped parts of the roof, let's place quartz stairs off the sides of the stone brick stairs with upside on quartz stairs under them as well. And then we can also place more quartz stairs off the top edge of the light blue concrete between the slope sections so the quartz trims connect up with each other. Now at this front slope section we will add another smaller quartz frame. So at this first block that overhangs the porch, place on a quartz stair and continue that upwards with upside down stairs as well until it connects up with the bigger frame. And then also between these large roof frames, let's place in quartz slabs across where the bottom stairs are and replace the end quartz stairs that touch these slabs with quartz blocks. Lastly for the roof, we'll add a couple windows out from the top of it. So go up and over three blocks from this bottom left corner of the roof and then remove a three wide by three long section of these stone brick stairs. Now with this gap in the roof, let's next place in a three wide wall of light blue concrete that goes up three blocks at this first row of the gap with an extra block at the middle. Then from the tops of this new concrete wall, place in stone brick stairs and slabs at the top layer that extend back and connect up with the rest of the roof like I do here. And now once we have that in place, we can then add a border of quartz from the front of this wall like I do here. Then to finish this up, we can simply place in a single white stained glass pane window at the center of this wall. So once we have this roof window complete, we can now add another same exact window like this at the same spot at the back side of the roof.
Next up, we will add in all the doors and windows to the house. So let's start by adding the front door by going over to the top of the staircase and placing a couple oak doors at the center of this wall. Then let's add in the door to the porch by going under this overhang area and placing a door at the side of this wall here. And then after that, let's go around to the back of the house and add a back door here at the fourth block over from this corner. And now also above this door, let's add some quartz stairs and cobblestone walls at the sides of it. So now with these main doors in place, let's next add in the garage door. So over at this front right corner, go over a block and then remove a 5 wide and 3 tall section of this stone foundation. Then with this stone cleared out, let's now fill in this gap with horizontally placed quartz pillar blocks that go in a block from the walls. Now with all the doors in place, we will next add in the windows. So starting with the first floor at the front, let's first remove a couple 4 wide and 3 tall sections of the stone here that are spaced a block apart. Then once we have these two gaps here, let's go inside a block and add some light blue concrete columns at the sides of each gap like I do here, and then add white stained glass panes between them. Now for the rest of the first floor, we will add some 2x2 two two windows with trapdoors at the sides and bushes underneath, so follow along as to where I place each one of these around the house. So now with the bottom floor windows in place, we will next add in the second floor's windows. So let's start by placing a two tall window at the center of this front right wall with trapdoors at the sides and quartz slabs underneath. Now with this window in place, we will next add a bunch of two by windows with trapdoors at the sides of them for the rest of the second floor. So follow along as to where I place each one of these windows. Next up, after we have all the second floor windows in place, we will add in the third floor windows. So at this front section, let's place in a single window at the middle of this big frame. And then within the other two roof frames, we will add in some 2x2 two two windows with trapdoors at the sides.
Now with all the windows in place, we will next add in some railings for the porch. So let's first add in three stone blocks up from where there is a column below, and then we can place an oak fences in between them. And then on top of the stone blocks we place, it's adding cobblestone walls up to the ceiling. Now once the porch railing is in, let's next go over to the staircase and entranceway and add a railing for this too by simply adding oak fences along the edge of this area. And now after this railing is in place, let's next go over to the right side of the house and add in a couple stone blocks at the ends of the stone foundation with cobblestone walls on top that connect to the roof. Then lastly for the house, we will add in a small driveway or walkway at the front. So let's start this by extending out three stone blocks into the ground at both the right and left sides, and then we can extend a row of stone between them to connect them together. And now with this border of stone in place, we can then replace all the grass within this area with grey concrete. Now as for what you want in the interior of the house, I'll leave that entirely up to you guys, but as always I'll quickly show you how I decorated mine as an example. But that is going to be all for the Suburban House tutorial, I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching. As always, I'd love to hear all your feedback and don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed as that would be much appreciated. And with that said, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Later guys, bye bye.